It's back to school time and that means it was the end of summer camps at the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club and the end of the fun and exciting learning program, Steam Tricks, put on by a club alumna which had the attention of Virginia's Secretary of Education and Director of STEM, who both came out to the club for the Steam Tricks finale. We've got interviews with both of them in this week's Salvation Army News Update. Well, we've told you before about Mercy Best's Steam Tricks program, which is helping curb summer learning loss while encouraging students at the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club to learn more in the fields of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Well, Mercy spread the word on her program and got the attention of Virginia's Secretary of Education, Ann Holton, and the Director of STEM for the state of Virginia, Dr. Megan Healy. And both of them came out to the club for the Steam Tricks finale. What's going on behind me is our final Steam Tricks summer s seminar session where all of our teams are all showcasing their business plans that they created this summer. I, I got to know Mercy when she and my daughter went to school together at Benford Middle School here in the city of Richmond and she's just a bright young go-getter and it's fun to watch somebody doing something exciting and interesting. It just shows how supported I am um, to have her here with us and we also had um, Megan Healy, she is the Virginia uh, director of STEM in particular, so that's just so awesome to have their support. In some communities that parents aren't aware of all the great jobs in STEM, and so bringing programs like this gets kids excited about STEM, and hopefully they relate back to their parents that can encourage them to go into the STEM field. Dr. Healy also said that the Commonwealth presently recruits from outside of the state to fill STEM jobs within Virginia and that across the state there are some 40,000 unfilled STEM jobs. We also talked to Dr. Healy and Ms. Holton about what a program like Mercy's was doing to help kids curb a summer learning loss and stay excited about school. Programs like this to keep students engaged, to enrich them through kind of outside of um, school activities, trying to encourage them to get excited about anything STEM, science-y, and also show like a practical relevance to what they learn in the classroom by this kind of informal setting during the summer. It's, it's really helpful to, to keep that momentum going of excitement. Education is so important for our young people as a key to success in life, and the summer learning loss is really a problem that a lot of young people uh, lose uh, enormous amounts across the summer and half the teachers have to spend a good bit of the fall doing remedial work to bring them back up to where they were in June. Anything we can do that keep their minds active and alive and interested in the summer is a net positive for the school. It feels good for this to be the end of the program because it just shows a culmination of the work and they're getting an the opportunity to present something that they don't get during the traditional academic school year. So I'm really excited for them as well. A young lady like Mercy who came up through the city schools, who came up through this Boys and Girls Club, if I understand correctly. If she's here telling these kids that STEM, STEAM can be exciting, that science is fun, that math is rewarding, then that speaks volumes to them in ways that nobody else can deliver that message so effectively. Huge thanks to everyone who came out to the club over the course of the summer to support Mercy in the Steam Tricks program and the difference it was making in the lives of these children at the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club. Well, coming up in a couple of weeks, the Community Foundation will again host the Amazing Rays, which is a 48-hour fundraising period for participating nonprofits to spread awareness, raise awareness, and raise funds. And in addition, there are some particular periods during which there are incentives offered to most donations received by a nonprofit, etc. The Salvation Army will be participating again, and here's a message from one of our board members, Mary Margaret Allen, about that. Hi, my name is Mary Margaret Allen, and I'm a member of the Salvation Army Advisory Board. And as an advisory board member, we strive to set the example for others and those that we serve. However, many times it is others that set the example for us. On Wednesday, September 17th, we'll share the story of a homeless teenage youth and her family and how their journey with the Salvation Army Shelter and the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club has helped them move forward. Your generosity has already made a difference on this family's life and the Amazing Rays is a chance to help them continue their successful journey as well as the others in our community. Thank you for your time.
in the coming weeks, we'll keep you posted over email and social media about how to support the Salvation Army during the amazing raise and how your gift can make a difference in the lives of families in need in our community and also can be doubled sometimes during particular windows. As always, thanks for watching the Salvation Army News Update.